Hello everybody, it's Mark Bang with the Sanctuary Networking Community on Google Plus and uh, we're having another one of our Sanctuary Member Spotlight interviews this evening and tonight I'm talking to Randy Milanovic of uh, Kayak Online Marketing. How you doing Randy? I'm doing great, thanks for having me on the show. Excellent, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, so Randy's firm, as I mentioned, is Kayak Online Marketing. They've got a Google Plus page and Randy's a member of the Sanctuary community uh, and has been pretty active there helping people out uh, with their questions and stuff like that, participating in discussions. So it's good to get them into an interview here and uh, kind of meet them face to face. So uh, Randy, I tell you what, why don't we just jump right into it here and why don't you describe what you do? Give me your elevator pitch. <laughs> sure. Well, I try not to make it too much of a pitch. That's the uh, that's the key. <laughs> uh, but basically, uh, we're a, an online marketing firm, and we help companies generate marketing qualified leads online. So we deploy automated websites uh, that feature social tools and, of course, quality content that attracts. Uh, in a nutshell, we help companies build their business online. Okay. So, um, so how did you get started in that uh, business? Oh. This one's going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, um, I started out uh, in this business about 25 years ago, maybe 26 or 27 by now. Uh, I started as a freelance designer. Uh, I also did stints in ad agencies. Uh, one uh, stint was about five years long. I learned a lot. I learned a lot of the good things and the bad things. And uh, uh, really about 1999, I decided to leave and uh, open my own studio. Uh, and uh, then uh, all went well, and then roughly about 2009, uh, when the economic downturn hit, uh, I got kind of a double whammy because at the same time I was kind of diagnosed with stage four cancer. Um, that kind of shook things up a little bit. Uh, I was forced off work for almost a year. Uh, during that time, I, I had a lot of, of opportunity to think just what I wanted to do with my business and what I wanted to do with my life. And, uh, it, you know, they say that uh, when you're on your deathbed, the last thing you think about is uh, what you could have uh, done uh, uh, for business, but that's actually what, uh, what I, exactly what I thought about. I thought I hadn't really accomplished enough yet, and I hadn't made a big enough impact on, uh, on things. So I fought through the cancer, and I fought through uh, the downturn. Uh, we managed to stay open during it. Uh, when we came out of it, uh, I spent about 18 months, uh, mostly through my recovery, just thinking how to uh, make websites work well. Uh, I saw that was the one part of my business that wasn't failing uh, in the, from a studio perspective. So uh, I did my uh, research, uh, developed uh, a system of my own that uh, we now call EMMA, which is short for Education, Marketing, and Automation. And we've taken that uh, and uh, we've uh, basically... Uh, work now to teach our clients how to do online marketing in an ethical way and uh, uh, really uh, use social media as a networking tool, use uh, websites as uh, lead capture mechanisms, uh, and really engage online in a, in a way that uh, builds trust uh, and, uh, and is really a, a good ethical approach to things. So that, that's where we're at now. Uh, Kayak is just over two years old. And uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we were up for Small Business of the Year in Calgary uh, because of the work we do. So we're pretty proud of that. Uh, on top of that, we had an opportunity to, uh, to uh, uh, publish two books on how to do this, which we share as freely as we can. Excellent. Yeah. I, I, uh, first of all, I like applaud you for the uh, ethical uh, approach to business. I know that sounds kind of weird to say that, but there's so many... Uh, people trying to take shortcuts in social media and marketing that, uh, and that, you know, a lot of what we do is based on social proof and on trust in essence that, uh, you know, we're all acting in a genuine way. So it's, um, you know, great that you put an emphasis on your business, uh, you know, doing it that way. Um, and uh, I did, you know, I did want to mention you do have a couple books out. I'm working on one of them and then you have Findability, Why Search Engine Optimization is Dying. So you've actually published two books, so uh, kudos to that. That's been one of my things on my list of uh, one of these days I'm going to do, but, uh, you know, more power to you, knock two of them out. So uh, excellent. Um, you know, one of the fun parts about that is the, the cost of uh, printing one of the books is about the same as what it costs to do a business card. So they make wow. great 
Wow, that's that's certainly taken a turn from the uh, you know from just even a few few years back. You know, if you wanted to self-publish, you had to buy a a small lot of books and uh, hope that people decided to invest in in them. So let me ask you this, Randy: How did you get started on Google Plus? Uh, a little trial and error, and and if I'm to be completely honest, I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> I've had the good fortune of meeting a few people like yourself and Christine. Uh, and who have uh, really got a handle on Google and so uh, like you mentioned earlier I uh, do my best to get active in the communities and just see how it really works. Um, I think the bottom line is that uh, uh, the more authentic that I am and the more engaging I am the better the results that I get out of it or the responses I get so that's all good. So still learning but uh, hopefully making progress. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever be done learning how to do Google Plus because they keep coming out with new stuff. And uh, so, so you've already mentioned that uh, you know participating in Google Plus has kind of helped your business. So, how has uh, participation on social platforms in general uh, helped your business? Uh, it's been everything, uh, and I'm going to qualify that by saying I don't do any pay-per-click. Uh, all of my company's marketing is content marketing and social engagement, and uh, we built a sizable business. Uh, we are now at about 440 companies we work with in that two-year span, and uh, you know everything's working well. We have some clients that do multi-million-dollar months just doing content marketing. Excellent. Well, that's encouraging, uh, you know, for me as well because I'm trying to to uh, bootstrap my business here on a very low budget, and I'm pretty much working on content marketing and social media marketing as as yeah. uh, you know the way to get it all going. So. Uh, that's pretty good. What other uh, social also, networks? Well, Go ahead. Uh, let me tell you a little story about the, the financing of this. Is, is I did it without any money. <laughs> so let me explain. So uh, you know those uh, Google AdWords uh, coupons you get in the mail all the time? Uh, I had received a few of those and finally one time I said, okay, I'm going to pay my $20 to get my $50 in, coupon, in, in AdWords. And uh, I had my theory, but it, that it wasn't proven yet. I took my theory and I said, okay, if I if I connect my social and my blog and the AdWords and content on my site, a uh, very rudimentary way, uh, I think that I can get some traction. And so I invested my $20 uh, plus Google's 50 makes a 70 if you want to count it that way. And within two weeks I made about $12,000. Um, with that, I thought, okay, that proves that it works. Now I'm going to drop the AdWords and I'm just going to do content marketing. And I took that $12,000 and it became about $300,000. Uh, it didn't take very long for that to happen. Uh, when that started happening, I realized that my system was working uh, and I set out to teach other people how to do it. So that's where we are now. Wow. Okay. Well, I definitely have to read your books now. So, uh, <laughs> um, so what other uh, social networks do you actively participate in? Uh, big time in LinkedIn, uh, although uh, I uh, had the uh, unfortunate happenstance of being swammed uh, this spring by a competitor, so that wasn't a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a, quite a, uh, an effort to go and undo those swam uh, uh, notifications. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but I have to go room by room and group by group and source out the uh, moderator and beg forgiveness <laughs> and the whole bit. Uh, even though it was actually a competitor that swam me, it wasn't my own action. Uh, so uh, that's been an interesting process, but I did uh, it did make me focus on the on the groups that were important, and so I was able to develop new relationships with the moderators of those groups. And so now I'm quite active in those groups again. So that's been a nice part. Uh, I've had uh, a really good uh, response from connecting with other business people. Uh, just to give you a, a sense of of that. I actually have more connections in LinkedIn than I do in Twitter. So, uh, and Twitter is another one we use as well. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm building up a little bit on Twitter. If you'd like to hear an, an interesting story about SWAM, site-wide auto moderation, I'm the guy that coined that acronym. Um, oh, right. I was, yeah, because <laughs> I, I was a member of the LinkedIn group products forum when all that hit, and I was one of the first people that was like, this probably isn't going to be as good as we think it is because I was very active in managing spam and LinkedIn groups. So from that aspect, it's like, yay, you can kick all the bots out of all the groups at one time. So it looked good, but then I thought, 
ahead to exactly the situation you're in. What happens if people start using it uh, as a way as a punitive measure or people who just aren't don't understand what it does because LinkedIn never really made a, a wide spread announcement. They only announced it in the group products forum. So in all the other million LinkedIn groups, nobody really knew that they were now doing this to everybody every time they block someone. And I got tired of typing that, that, that thing where everybody gets kicked out when you block. So I, and I love coming up with acronyms. So I came up with site-wide auto moderation, which LinkedIn now has adopted and is in their, in their help thing. They have a help article on that. I don't get a credit on the acronym though. It didn't get it. that way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. No, well, I'll have to, in another life maybe. So um, let's see here. So uh, why this business and not, I don't know, anything else? Why not? Why this business? Well, uh, I, I'm really an entrepreneur at heart. Uh, I, I have a creative, uh, I guess, uh, hunger uh, that I that I love to uh, use to solve problems. And uh, I, I think, uh, uh, you know, going through my cancer and whatnot, uh, I don't think I have the stamina to do anything physical, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, I think the uh, just the, the problem solving that uh, that I'm able to participate in, uh, that's a that's quite a thrill for me, and I enjoy doing that. And I enjoy the fact that I get to to work with and learn about so many different businesses, uh, and and then to also see the commonality of all those businesses too. It's uh, quite a thrill. Yeah, nothing. This is my uh, my second time around at uh, at uh, starting a business, and uh, I tell you what, there's nothing like being able to just go out and meet different people and see what it is they do, and and try to figure out what it is you do that can help them out. So you know, there's really an appeal to that that you can't match working for somebody else, no matter no matter how nice a company it is. It's really difficult to match that, and you know, being able to set your own direction and say these are the kind of challenges uh, I enjoy and. Uh, you know, kind of go after it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So how do you relax, Randy? Ah, uh, <laughs> bubble baths <laughs> and the occasional book. I just finished uh, uh, Warlock. Uh, I'm trying to remember the author right now, but uh, it's an Egyptian novel uh, back in the uh, pre, like maybe a uh, well Egyptian times. Okay, well, that was actually my uh, my final question for you was, what are you reading at the moment? So I guess you, uh, Warlock is it, right? Yeah, I just finished it. Uh, now I'm looking for the next one in the series, and also I'm going to go back and reread my books. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm just going to check the comments real quick. Looks like we got a few people just saying hello and stuff like that, so that's really cool. I see David uh, Oldenburg and Christine DeGraff checked in, and Mark, Mark Seidel and Doug Harper, so, you know, uh, Sarah Allen. So you, you attracted, uh, you know, quite a few uh, people here to your, uh, to your interview. Randy, I want to thank you very much for taking the time to uh, do the interview and being an active member of the community. I always appreciate uh, that. And, uh, you know, you, I've got a copy of one of your books there on the websites that I really need to dig into because I'm getting ready to do version 3.0 of my website. And it's time to get serious and make the thing work instead of just being a bunch of pretty, not so pretty pictures. So thank you, Randy. Uh, anything you want to say before we uh, tune out here tonight? Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, showing my books and, and uh, asking people if they'd like to get some. And I have a few I'll give away as well. So okay. these are my books are digest size. And uh, hopefully, uh, if uh, somebody wants to respond, uh, I can give away five or ten, and I'll just mail them out. And uh, we have a, a Building a Better Business website and Findability. So either one or both, if, uh, if it strikes you. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, I'll go ahead and get the uh, Amazon links to those uh, from YouTube. So when this goes up to YouTube, we'll put those into the description on YouTube so people can find the links right there if they missed our, our live broadcast here. And we can stick the links in the, in the event comments too. So thanks, Randy, very much. And uh, everybody, thank you for turning out tonight. And uh, we will see you in the next uh, Sanctuary Chat interview. Thank you, Mark.